today's video is going to be a drugstore haul. Let me let me tell you guys something really quick before anyone leaves me a comment about it. I know this is so crazy. I said in my last haul, I was like, you know what, I'm done. I am done shopping for makeup. I have hauled way too much. And then, like, the other day, <laughs> drugstore.com was 20% off of everything. So when I went on the website, I noticed that there was a ton of new drugstore releases. Like, I'm talking about a lot. So I was like, ugh, I have to place an order. I like to blame my channel for these things. But no, seriously, I buy so much makeup because of my channel. If I didn't have my channel at all, I wouldn't have 90% of the things that I own. So I'm constantly buying drugstore products because I feel like the drugstore just keeps getting better and better and I want to be involved with it. Like, I love drugstore makeup. I love talking to you guys about cheaper alternatives. So that is why I had to place another order and I had to film another haul. So I'm so sorry if you hate hauls, but I just, there was so much new drugstore makeup I have to share. Okay, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I put everything in like my Walgreens bag because I went to Walgreens as well. With this haul, I haven't tried anything out. It is just like an actual haul. I'm just hauling makeup. I haven't tried anything because I want to film a full face first impressions. Leave me a comment down below if that's something you would be interested in seeing. Like a bunch of these products um, used in action for the first time and I can give you like a first impressions. Leave me a comment if you would wanna see that. Okay, so there was a ton of new releases from Maybelline. So I'm gonna go through all the stuff I got at Maybelline first, or from Maybelline. I got three of their brand new color tattoos. Now, I know what you're thinking, those things come in pots, but no, no, no. They came out with something really, really cool and I'm very, very excited to try this. These are their new color tattoo crayon concentrates. So I picked up this one in the shade Gold Rush. It's just a basic gold shade. This is a more light champagne shade. This one's called Barely Beige. And then this one is a nice like gray charcoal color and it's called Charcoal Chrome. Let me swatch this, I haven't even swatched them. So they seem to be swatching really nicely. They're very lightweight, they're not too thick on my hand. But are they as good as the color tattoos in the pot? That we shall find out because I love the color tattoos. They don't crease, they last forever. So I hope these are just as good. Something in extremely, extremely similar packaging like it almost looks the same. This is the new brow drama by iStudio. It's a pomade crayon, which I don't typically love eyebrow pomades, but I'm really excited to try this one out since it is like in a crayon. It's different. I got mine in the shade soft brown. Oh cool, it doesn't look like it's my color, but I still have to test it out on the eyebrows. It has a nice formula, it's not too thick. Maybelline has a brand new foundation and I got the wrong color because I bought it online. This is their new Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I knew that I wanted this because it says matte and hydrating, which is crazy to think that something could be hydrating and matte at the same time. But even though I have really dry skin, sometimes I like a matte foundation. They just look really cakey on me. So I'm really excited to give this a try, even though this is um, a little bit too dark for me. I got Sandy Beige number 60. I don't know what made me think that I would be this dark, but I know for a fact that this would be perfect when I'm uh, a little bit more self-tanned. Even though I could probably make this work, it's right here. I could probably make it work. Yes, I have a feeling I could make this work. It has kind of like a moussey consistency, but it feels so soft to the touch. I'm kind of very, very intrigued. It feels really nice on my hand. So again, I got it in Sandy Beige and I'm so excited. Okay, this is probably what I'm most excited about. Wait until I show you. Oh, I got another one. This is another color tattoo crayon concentrate and I got creamy chocolate. It's like a really pretty bronze shade. Totally forgot to show you that with the other ones. Okay, back to what I was saying. I'm so, 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 so excited. Maybelline came out with what appears to be liquid lipsticks. These are their new Vivid Matte Liquids and I have one, two, three, four, I got five shades. I'm excessive like that. There is one more that I ordered, but it's on back order. Uh, it was out of stock and it's called Possessed Plum. It's like a super dark purple and that one should be coming in the mail. But I am so excited to test out this formula. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is so incredibly cute and I'm really excited to see how this formula like works. So I picked up the colors 
nude thrill it's a basic nude shade i got this one in nude flush this one is just pinkier the nude flush is more pink this one's more brown and then i got this really pretty vibrant red orange in the shade orange orange shot orange shot this one in the shade fuchsia ecstasy it's a really pretty fuchsia and then this one it's a really pretty berry shade and it's called berry boost Maybelline also released kind of like a contour palette. I have mine in the shade light to medium. They have two different ones. They have this one that's more for fair skin and then one for deeper skin. They have the contour powder, which um, it looks like it would be a really good color. It's a little bit warmer than I would like contour with, but I don't know, I have to try it on my face. This blush looks really pretty and then this highlight looks really pretty. So let's swatch them because like I said, I've never, I haven't swatched this. It comes with a little brush that that, I mean, I guess you can use to contour, but it, <laughs> oh, this highlight shade looks really pretty. I did not have any expectations, like, at all for this highlight shade. It's right here. You can't see it. Like I said, this contour color is a little bit warmer than I would contour with. It has, like, some pink to it. Let me see if I can show you. You see right there, it has a little bit of pinkiness to this color i don't know it's a little strange but like i said i gotta try it on my face and then the blush is just like a regular pink blush it seems like it has really good pigmentation i'm really excited to try this out because i was extremely unimpressed with the maybelline like nude palette thing that they came out with recently it had like a highlight in the middle eyeshadows it had it was like a whole little kit and it was awful the pigmentation it was just terrible i think i returned mine it was horrible but these swatched really nicely. How cool are these? They came out with three different Master Prime um, long-lasting eyeshadow bases. So they came out with eyeshadow primer. <laughs> they came out with three different ones, and I picked up two of them. They have one that mattifies your eye. So you put it on, and it's supposed to like help with um, creasing. Like If you have really oily eyelids, I don't. I have dry eyelids, so I didn't pick that one up. But I got these two. This one is prime and smooth. It like smoothens out your lids, makes them nice and smooth. I don't know. I um, yeah, and then this one is prime and illuminate. It gives you like a nice shimmery base. So let me test this out on my hand I'm curious to see how this smooths your eyelids. Let me see It looks like it's a little bit shimmery and this isn't the illuminate one But it does have like a soft glow to it, but it kind of has like a silicone slippery feeling hmm. We shall see and then this one is the illuminate one and it looks like it has like a champagne taupey kind of color to it Oh yeah, this one is actually shimmery. Wow, this is actually really, really beautiful. Look at that, like, glow. It has a really pretty sheen. So this one, oh, it looks like I might really like this one. I hope it actually primes my eyelids, though. Like, I hope it keeps my eyeshadow in place all day and that it makes them, like, more vibrant. I'm very excited to see if that works. And they came out with a setting spray. This is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray locks in makeup and it has a long lasting finish. Translucent, oil free, it says. Whew. So, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I really like the spray, like the nozzle, it doesn't squirt like product into my face. I really like how it's sprayed out. This reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Infallible one. The setting spray, I've never tried that one, but I decided to pick this one up because I've always wanted to try that one, but never did, but this one is new, so whatever. Anyway, that is everything I got from Maybelline. They came out with a ton of new stuff. Now, onto some more randomy things. I was so excited when I saw this on drugstore.com. You guys have no idea, okay. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. Billable Luminous Foundation, and I got mine in the shade W2. I think I got my correct shade. This is just like the Amore Pacific one. The Lancome has like a BB cushion type thing like this. And what is what is the other brand? Laneige, like the Laneige BB cushion. Basically, you just open it. It has a mirror. It has your little foundation applicator right here. And then you open this up, and your foundation is right there. Ah! Uh and then you just stamp the product in and then put it on your face. These types of foundations I think are very popular um, in Asia. I'm not exactly sure, I could be making that up. 
I'm really excited to try this out because I really liked the Laneige one. I got a sample of it like in an Ipsy bag a while ago and I really, really liked it. It made my skin so dewy. It was a little bit tacky though. So I'm really excited to see how this works. I could probably do the first impression on this if you would really like me to. I'm excited. Burt's Bees came out with a bunch of new lipsticks. Like they've always had like chapsticks and lip balms, but I've never really seen like a hardcore lipstick until the other day when I was at Walgreens. So I got mine in the shade 501 Blush Basin. Blush Basin, I'm not sure. And this is what it looks like. I really, really love the packaging on this. Is that weird? It looks like a honeycomb. I really like the packaging. And I really love this color. It is a sheer formula. This is it right here. It's a sheer formula, but you can tell it's very, very, very hydrating and moisturizing, which is something that I typically, like, I would have expected from Burt's Bees. So I'm really excited to just, like, toss this in my purse and apply throughout the day. It's such a pretty color. I saw this on a new display, and this is their Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. This isn't a new product, but it says new formula right here on the box. So I'm assuming that they, like, took it out and then, like, revamped the formula and then brought it out. And I got mine in the shade Dark Brown. And it says, it dries fast. I have so many black liquid liners and I wanted to try out their new formula, so I just got dark brown. Another face product, I went like crazy with the face stuff. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. I saw this like on a new display, so I wanted to try it out. I don't typically love Neutrogena, but I'm really, really excited to try this. I got mine in the shade Light to Neutral, number 30. And this is their BB cream, pretty much. It says, moisturizing retinol treatment with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 20 at even skin tone. I'm gonna assume it's just like an, uh, a BB cream, but it has retinol treatment in it, which is really, really cool, which is the main reason why I bought it, because of the retinol treatment. I wanna see how that works. I have two mascara type of products. One is actually a primer for your mascara. This is the Milani Length in Seconds Lash Extensions Fiber. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Too Faced. They have like a mascara that that is like a similar concept where it has like the fibers on the wand and you apply this. Ugh, fibers just flew everywhere. I don't know if you guys saw that. It has the fibers on the wand and they're supposed to stick to your lashes and then you apply your regular mascara on top and it's supposed to make your lashes thicker, more voluminous, even longer. So I'm excited to see how this one works out. I love Milani so much. It's one of my favorite brands. And then the mascara I decided to pick up is brand new from Revlon and it is their um, volume and length magnified mascara. I got mine in black as black. They had like four different types. They had one specifically for volumizing, one specifically for lengthening, and then this one that did both volume and length and I thought, well, I want a little bit of both. So I picked up the blue one. They're all like different colors. I really love the packaging. Something about this blue little cap is calling my name and I'm very excited to try this out because it is a fiber bristle wand. It's not rubber and I prefer like more natural bristles on my mascara. So I got two eyeshadows from L'Oreal. They came out with a ton of new eyeshadows. What are these specifically called? The Color Riche eyeshadows. And I have mine in the shade Quartz Fume and then I bought another one that's orange but it was on back order as well. So it shipped already but it hasn't gotten here yet. But I'm so impressed by the quality of this eyeshadow specifically, so I'm very excited to get the orange one in the mail. They're very, very creamy. Like, when you put your finger in them, they're so creamy, so pigmented. I love them. And then I got this product from CoverGirl, another face product, but it's not like a foundation or anything. This is their CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer. They have three different ones, I believe. I have one, I think, for combo skin, one for oily skin, and one for dry skin. So I picked up the one for dry skin since I have dry skin. I'm so... I have such, like, high expectations for this because I love primers and I feel like the drugstore really lacks in that department. And this one's targeted for my skin type. So I hope it's so good. Please don't let me down. And then the last product I got, well, products, but they're all the same thing. I saw these on display as well, so of course I had to get more than one. These are the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. So L'Oreal already has their Infallible Lip Glosses that have been like in their range already, but I saw this on a new display and it said matte. So they're kind of like in the same packaging, only these are matte. So. These are like their versions of liquid lipsticks, I'm gonna assume. So I'm really, really excited to try these out as well. 
I picked up six colors. This one I'm so excited about. It's a really bright, like, Barbie pink. This one is called Fuchsia Amnesia. This one is a really pretty, like, rosy mauve. And this one's called Nude Elude. Then this one is a really pretty nude. I think it's their lightest one. And this one's called Bear Attraction. This one's a really pretty, like, everyday pink. And this one is called Blushing Ambition. And then this is a red, like a basic, nice, hot red. It's called... Shanghai Scarlet, yes, and then this really pretty berry shade in Forbidden Kiss. Okay guys, so that completes this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see most of these products in action. I will use them on my face, kind of like a first impressions type of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.